Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Oh, my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Aquarius, which cards resonate and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments as well, Aquarius. If you do enjoy this reading or you just enjoy my vibe, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help my channel out a lot, and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support support me in that way. But remember Aquarius, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. So <laughs> don't mind me, I just had a random brain fart, Aquarius. I believe my tarot cards here, my weekly horoscopes are just here to give you some perspective, some food for thought, but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, not the tarot cards. Aquarius. So let's just get into your reading now before um, I can't speak anymore, apparently. It's always for y'all's readings. So I want to see where it is you guys are feeling right now. What is it that you're feeling, Aquarius? Hermit. You feel like hermiting. Uh, the number nine. Write down the number nine for numerology, Aquarius. Still look up later. Whoops. My bad. Uh, as well as Archangel Raziel is reaching out to you this week. I feel like you got this card last week, Aquarius. One of y'all let me know in the comments below. Uh, anyways, this card says spending quiet time alone, uh, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery. So you guys just right now, Aquarius, are in this place of not really wanting to engage, not really... I am getting like this sense of just exhaustion when it comes to interacting with people or just interacting with energies like I, actually i don't even want to go to that like length of like depth i really want to just say it feels like you just like the moment you walk out of your bedroom you feel exhausted already right and even with like you may have like the highest intentions to just um really be productive that day each day or if like even when you engage with people uh you have like the strong intention of connecting with them but it's just like your social battery your battery itself when it comes to other energies is just extremely low or just gets low really quick right now um you're really in this place of just yeah you just are i feel like your your sense of nirvana right now aquarius would just be you having all the lights turned off blackout curtains and you just being left completely alone so let's see the cards that are coming in for you so uh yeah we have the strength card coming in heavy healing you guys are definitely going through something aquarius and i know last week um, I was getting the strong sense that you guys just have been dealing with or fighting with your own, with some type of battle that no one's been knowing about, Aquarius. You're dealing, you've been grieving or dealing with something that, um, you haven't talked about or let that many people in about. Uh, Six of Wands coming in the reverse with the Empress card coming in into the reverse as well, Aquarius. So definitely you are just not wanting to be seen you're not wanting to be noticed right now very much so this sense aquarius where some of you guys probably feel like you're being punished just for existing right now it feels like right now you're just <laughs> i know i'm being repetitive in this sense aquarius so i do apologize but it does just feel like the sense of just like being tired um really just not it just feels like you guys are checked out right now. Like, genuinely, like, I wouldn't be surprised if some of my Aquarius is this week kind of just, like, delete their social media and just turn off for a while. Um, because this is just so much of an energy of, like, once you start feeling, like, this sense of defeat or just what have you, um, that's where, like, a little bit of self-sabotaging can come in where it's just, like, a sense of where the more you recluse, the more you shut down, the more things you disconnect from. And you could end up doing like permanent damage for the things that you've been working so hard on trying to build up and work on, right? Because I do feel like these two cards here at one point in your life was in the upright for you. And I feel like just recently, well, not just recently, because I feel like you guys have been dealing with this for some time now, Aquarius. But it does feel on some level that you guys something's either happened or you know just like the swing of emotions for you aquarius that um now you're just ready to just ugh, 
and it feels like you're just ready to fold your hands entirely and just be like, you know what, and just done. You're done with life, right? Done with life, done with the things that you've been working on, done with just people. You're just done, honey. You want, if you could, if there is the be- if there is a button presented to you, Aquarius, where you could just stop existing, right? I feel very different from just like, you know, it's, I know some, a lot of people would be concerned, but I feel like it's just, it's not that deep for you, Aquarius. I just feel like you're just tired and you're just like, you just want to quit. <laughs> oh gosh, now I'm dying. Yeah, with this strength card coming in here, it just feels like you're using up all your energy just to even keep it going each day. Aquarius. Now this y'all are my sign that I um have always been worried about Aquarius in terms of when you guys get into this hermiting phase. I always kind of chastise my Aquariuses because I'm just like, all right now, Aquarius, like it's all right. Like you want to just take some time for yourself. That's fine and dandy, honey. But you know, don't get into this habit of getting too by yourself because I know my Aquarius is very much so whether it's intentional or not, it can almost become habitual for them to like, once they isolate themselves, they will maintain that isolation for a very long time. Right. And with the strength card coming in here, uh, definitely heavy shadow work uh, coming in. Definitely just like a time you're just digesting a lot, Aquarius, I feel you're digesting a lot. And because it's taking all your energy and digesting that, um, you don't really have much time or energy for anything else in your life, which is okay, right? But again, I just want to just repeat my message of just like making sure that you have an exit plan, Aquarius. When you know, sit in this energy for now, right? You know, feel what it is that you want to feel. You know, I'm not here to stop you, and I understand there are just you, we all need those times. Uh, where we just digest things and just really take everything in, Aquarius. But, you know, just have an exit plan. Six of Swords coming in here. Yeah, having an exit plan. This is quite literally like the exit plan card. Um, where you, you know, you, at some point you want to, you know, whether it's just being like, all right, by the end of this month or what have you, set a time frame for yourself. Because I feel like if you just like go willy nilly, you can kind of just catch yourself in this pattern where you just continuously isolate yourself for a lot longer. And then because of this isolation, you start neglecting other aspects of your life. Dare I even say, Aquarius, because of that Six of Wands and the Empress card coming in the reverse for you, that I do feel like it was relevant for you in the upright for a while. You know, that Six of Wands represents that spotlight and really giving birth to uh, big dreams. And it's through you birthing something, creating something that you get a lot of notice on. And I do feel like because of this hermiting energy, you could sabotage this potentially if you choose to sit in this energy for too long. Now, Aquarius, I know it's a little bit unfair for me to like speak in this way and be like, you know, kind of like pressuring you almost um, into overcoming this energy. But honey, I'm invested in y'all's growth and <laughs> I just feel like you need someone in your life to kind of just like help you snap out of it or just like at the very least always have like a hand extended out to you Aquarius I feel like that's the thing I feel like you just need to have something that's always extended out for you to grab onto so you don't get too lost in the sauce so you don't get too lost in this heavy dark energy that you're in you know it's again it's perfectly okay for you to be digesting some stuff right you're only human um but I do feel as if you need something to be able to reach out to. So let's pull an animal card on this. Come on now, Aquarius. Mm, I love when I'm so good at my job, honey. Uh, the Meerkat card. This card says, getting support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. Truly right now, I know you're in this hermiting state, uh, Aquarius. I know you're in this place of just not wanting to connect. You know, and probably, probably on your side of things, you think this is like the best for you, where you just spend all this time digesting this heavy situation by yourself, right? Maybe you feel as if it's pointless for you to talk about it. Uh, with other people and to include other people because they wouldn't understand or like you know maybe you're like me Aquarius where you don't feel better when you talk about it with somebody right it just does nothing but like get you worked up again or what have you but I do just feel like you need to you know even if you're in this permitting process Aquarius make it a conscious effort to reach out to people in your life and be like hey like I'm here I love you what have you like I'm just going through my emotions right now right i feel like it's important for you to have someone that you 
someone checking in on you. So hopefully you have that in your life, Aquarius, of someone checking up on you during this time, because I really do see just, ugh. I hope you get out of that though. I know you will get out of it, Aquarius. So um, let's see actually how this works out for you this week. Your card comes in. Also, can I just want to point out now that it just reminded me, Aquarius, seeing we have a star card for you. Um, <laughs> but I want to point out I'm wearing your your star. I mean, the star card is the Aquarius card. And I'm also I'm wearing it a star earring as well. So technically I'm wearing your earring. Such a long winded uh, me trying to just get that out. Uh, but yeah, what ends up working out is the star card. This card says, happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans, and that you're on the right path. So Aquarius, definitely, I, it confirms me, you do get out of it. Um, but let's get some clarifiers on this. How does this journey look like of you getting out of it? So, clarifiers we got. Star card again, honey. <laughs> Uh, the Eight of Wands in the reverse, as well as the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Aquarius, I can't help but feel like there's been like some type of um, sabotaging going on already with what I was sensing with the Hermit card. Um, especially with this Eight of Wands here, I do feel as if like you've been on your right path, right? And it's like things have been going accordingly for a while for you. But then something happened that you ended up having to digest and you know whatever happened you had to take care of your own business right you know it's none of my business what you got to take care of right just you had to handle it um it does feel like there was an opportunity because while you're still maintaining on your path something presented itself to you that was just really good for you a really good opportunity presented to you in your path Three of Pentacles, definitely collaborative, definitely not your own, just like your own energy. This does talk about contracts. Uh, Aquarius, it does just, yeah, it just speaks on terms of uh, potential opportunities on some level. And I feel like you ended up rejecting it on some at some point. Eight of Wands with being in the reverse lets me know where perhaps you weren't feeling very uh, good about yourself, perhaps, where you were doubting your own capabilities, Aquarius. And maybe that's what started this spiral in the first place. Maybe it started out seemingly small. You know, maybe nothing dramatic even happened in your life, Aquarius. Maybe something seemingly small started where you're just like, ooh, like you started doubting yourself. And then it started just growing and growing and growing to something so big that it just becomes overwhelming and starts just uh, impacting you a lot heavier than normal right but i do see you getting out of this right so this is kind of foreshadowing aquarius this sense of something that you kind of had to let go of or that you let go of at one point i do see this kind of a mm, excuse me i do see this coming back into your life this potentially right let's see the eight of swords in the reverse very good yeah i do feel like once uh aquarius if this gives you any peace of mind i do see something that you kind of had to just like hold off on because whether it was just like because you were dealing with so much or you know you whatever your reasoning is right insert adjectives here um i do see it coming back once you get out of this eight of swords energy right because it's inverted for you right so this is showing to me like once you stop uh because the eight of swords normally aquarius is a card of feeling trapped or like the illusion of feeling trapped right feeling stuck and so once i feel like you kind of go through your own motions you figure things out for yourself this opportunity is going to that you initially passed on is going to be coming back right so if you've been hard on yourself aquarius where you're just like ah oh, man i wish i didn't let that go um don't get in your head too much about it have faith on this because i definitely do get this sense that it's going to re make a reappearance in your life so you know don't get in your head too much about it but just know that it's not it can't make a reappearance in your life until you start working on the things that you've been needing to work on with yourself right um until you finally break out of your shell a little bit and breaking out of your hermiting phase essentially right it goes back to why i was saying before aquarius where it's like i don't want you to be sitting in this hermit energy for too long uh, because i know for you guys you can get into like i just don't want it to become habitual for you as all. Well. so 
yeah, I want to just now tap into a little bit more of the good things happening for you, Aquarius. Just a quick little bit, because I know we've been doing some heaviness. Uh, three of fire, three of wands. Okay, I don't even have to, you know, I mean, this card itself, right, uh, speaks of the uh, good things, right? So this card says abundance. Uh, things are looking very good. Have patience at this time and making long-term plans. So definitely, uh, Aquarius, you have a lot of good things waiting for you, right? You really do. Um, waiting it out a little bit though, for whatever, I want to know, you know, maybe it is essential for you to, I, I mean, I'm not saying it one this entire time, Aquarius, right? Um, but I do get this sense here that once you just figure yourself out, once you go through your motions and have your moments, I really do think things will pick back up where you started. And if not even quicker from before, you'll find yourself progressing quicker than before. Yeah, come on now, Aquarius. You have the King of Swords coming in, the Six of Cups, as well as the Three of Pentacles. So quite literally, Aquarius, <laughs> this repeat, like, I love that I did this now for y'all because this King of Swords comes in, it's like once you are in right stable mind and body and what have you, right? Well, um, you have the Six of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Six of Cups talks about an offer, uh, so a gift or receiving a gift and what have you, but it also emphasizes past energy, Aquarius. So it goes back to what I was saying before about something that you had to pass on. Remember, we had the Three of Pentacles in the reverse for you for that, so you passed on it at one point. Three of Pentacles comes back in the upright, so it quite literally confirms to me, Aquarius, that this thing that you had to pass on from before for whatever your reasoning was is going to still be here when it when you're ready right it's just whenever you're ready aquarius so hopefully you're not beating yourself up too much about that having to about having to pass on it at that point right so now aquarius let's see what's going on for your financial or uh, not your financial yet i want to see what's going on for your love and social situations this week see what's going on here uh as well because keep in mind Aquarius we have more than just romantic situation relationships we have family we have uh friends what have you so we have the sun card coming in happy outcome I feel like this is not the ending of the story though so how is this I'm not to like put a damper on this I do feel like it's a good card I did, the sun is the best card for your social I mean just in general but for your social situations is especially what you want to see interesting so wow okay aquarius so again you have the three of pentacles following you all these cards are inverted but i'll show them to you upright so two of cups three of pentacles and the queen of cups so right now there's a so, there is a situation a relationship in your life aquarius that just is not very lovely right now i don't feel like you guys are speaking or on speaking terms i don't feel like you guys are actively connecting sharing cups with one another right working together i don't feel like it's happening right now but keeping in mind, because the sun card being in the upright for you, I feel like this is really just speaking again on a situation that's like things are going to start working itself out on a situation, on someone that you're not on speaking terms with right now. Or maybe just not the, as close as you would like to be with them, Aquarius. I do see things starting to work out in this way, right? But I want to know how this happens. Though. Is it just like through just natural, organic, like time or what have you? Queen of Cups in the upright. So this is kind of falling on you a little bit, Aquarius. Again, um, you know, I do feel like you need to have some people in your space that you can reach out to. You know, maybe even just communicate, Aquarius, and just be like, hey, um, just want to let you know I'm thinking about you. I haven't forgotten about you. Um, you know, even explain. Just be like, I just don't have the energy right now to just connect to anybody right now, right? I feel like it's just important to let the people in your life right now know where it is you're currently at don't you don't have to take this all on by yourself right even though you feel alone and isolated right now you know maybe there's part of where you could take some responsibility for why you're feeling that way as well aquarius just a thought uh now let's get into your financial now aquarius financial and career this week seven of air seven of swords Plans that need revision, more going on that meets the eye, and poor timing. That seems to be the theme for you, Aquarius, is poor timing on stuff. But I feel like it's poor timing just because, again, you're having to digest some things. So let's see here. 
We have the Nine of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Four Swords in the Reverse, with the King of Pentacles in the Reverse. Huh. So Aquarius, definitely, there's this, maybe some of you guys felt this disappointment. You guys took a chance on something with your career. I don't feel like, well, it feels like you really tried to do like a project at some point and you didn't get like, it didn't like give you the results that you were really hoping for, that you were really anticipating. And I feel like that kind of took a blow to you as well and kind of hurt. Um, maybe that's partially what caused like a little bit of your hermiting phase is because after this release of like a project that you've been working so hard on, because it didn't really get the traction that perhaps you thought it would or work out in the way that you thought it should or would, um, maybe it gave you this sense of defeat. So now you're kind of back to the drawing board, Aquarius. Hmm. So how does this work out though? Temperance card comes in. All right, just have patience at this time, uh, Aquarius. I'm not saying like what that same project's going to just randomly pick up traction. It's not what I'm saying at all. But I feel as if like stay the course, right? I know some of you Aquariuses are probably in the state of just questioning like what it is you're going to do with the rest of your life now since this one project just didn't work out, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, stay the course for a little bit longer, Aquarius. And because with that temperance card, spirit, think about this from this way, Aquarius. Spirit's always going to suggest to you to take the steps to get you to where it is you need to go or like having you in your living in your life's purpose traveling down your path as quick as possible right they're always wanting you to progress like pro progress right oh my gosh um and so when they're asking you to just have patience at this time quite literally you're being told that the things that you've been doing are the right things you know it just is not the right timing it seems to be all the like the theme for your reading as well all these cards keep talking about just not the right timing so um yeah just don't get in your head too much aquarius don't don't sit in this hermit energy for too much longer okay have an exit plan but uh it's the reading that i have for you this week aquarius hopefully you found some of these cards helpful on some level if you did be sure to give this video a like and subscribe comment down below which cards resonated and also aquarius i do readings for all the zodiac signs not just yours so if you have a friend that's into tarot or even if they're not send them their horoscope reading and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well until next time aquarius i love you so much bye